working. There's uh, reports that he's trying to get custody of his two little girls. Mm. Are you up for being a stepmom at 22? It's, it is a big responsibility and I resented it at the start. I found it, I mean, that's absolutely truthful. I found it mm. really hard. I was going, oh, God, I don't, you know, how, how many, how, what do I do? I don't know what to do. But now I love them and they're part of our life. And I'm not their mother and I don't, I don't try to be. I'm not a stepmom. I'm, I'm their friend. I, I give them the best friend advice. And when they want to talk to me, I'm like, I'm there. Tell me. How are you feeling? Talk to me. And they love me and I get on really well with them. Speaking of mums, last year you changed management. And yeah. Your mum was your manager and, and she no longer is your manager. She'd, yeah. she'd been with you all the way through that journey. Yes, that must have does. been a, a very tough thing for you to ask her to step aside. I don't think you can actually fire your mum. I don't think it's physically possible. I've tried to sack her a couple of times as mum, you know? <laughs> but she just doesn't. You know, your mum's always there. Yeah. Your mum, yeah, she's tried to sack me as a daughter, I'm sure, a million times. But um, we were learning as we went along. We didn't, we didn't know the music industry until we stepped into it. We were completely a team. We're still a team. I love my mum more than anything, and I'll defend her to the grave, and she'll defend me. Like we're, we're still a team, but we couldn't be mother and daughter anymore. We were bringing work into the household, and. That wasn't healthy for either of us. The story has circulated that uh, last year an email was sent with your mum's uh, permission or, or understanding warning you that Brian was holding back your career. Yeah. That Brian saw this email, was pretty unhappy about it and uh, let you and your family know, or let your family know. And shortly after that, uh, you, the decision was made for your mum to stop managing you. How much truth is in that? Well, um, there's elements because what happened was, I mean, naturally my mum was trying to protect me. Mm. She was just scared for, for me. She was scared that people were going to, you know, start to say things that weren't true. Well, she was just scared. She wanted to protect me. Her and Brian are both very headstrong, both very, um, very opinionated. And Did they get on? They get on really well now. The two of them even gang up on me sometimes. I mean, it must have been very tough for her, though. It was hard at the start. Because really. you know, she had guided you from that high. Oh, completely. And She's then... my mum. They didn't get on great at the start. I mean, it wasn't fun. <laughs> but at the same time, they both they both know that they both they both love me and I love them. You seem to be in a very good place. Uh, you're going to bring out a new album yeah. shortly. And the question in the industry is, okay, <sighs> Tell me. Are your teenage fans, have they moved with you? Have they gone to Missy Higgins, someone like that? Are you cool or uncool? <laughs> what if the answer to that is that you're uncool? How are you going to deal with that? Same way I do probably most things, just go, I'll just try again. <laughs> just, I'll just, you know, if that's the case, then, you know, then obviously I just... You're out in the tightrope again, though. You must think about these things. What's going to happen? I do, but at the same time, I feel really confident in my music. Like, I know I've got a great album. I love the album. I, I it's not too much about, it's not all in, about my personal experience. It's a lot about wrapping around other people's lives and, and I noticed the track, uh, Paris is a Bitch. I noticed that. <laughs> you know what, I, just, I don't really even think about no, people like that. I know. Exactly, but like, it doesn't cross my mind. <laughs> Unlike most 19 year olds, you've actually yeah. had to face your mortality. Yeah. I wonder how that's changed you. Has that made you less ambitious? It did. Yeah, it did. Um, when it first happened, I started to go, do I want, you know, do I, am I, do I want to put myself under so much stress in life, you know? But then I go, you know what, when I get to see little kids, I'm, I'm, I'm meant to do this, this is what I'm meant to do, I'm meant to do music. Seeing people get excited and happy, even if it means an autograph, then that makes my day, I, I don't, you know, it doesn't matter that I don't want to do that to people, it matters that it means that I've made someone else smile, and I love that gift, that's great for me, I love it. So I, I, I believe that it's, I'm still determined, but just maybe... I'm going to enjoy it a little better this time. Well, go out there and knock them dead. Delvin, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you.